1976, I was a pool attendant with the Park District, and the current coordinator that was in charge of the pools came to me and said, hey, we're starting a gymnastics program. You're a gymnast. How about you come and teach for us? I'm like, sure, okay. I grew up doing gymnastics and I was doing it from a very young age at like two to like 13 and then throughout high school and I just think it's a really good sport. It's like tough mentally and physically. And it's not easy too so it's definitely when you get a new skill, you get excited about it and just have that sense of accomplishment with the sport. I grew up through the program here. I started when I was in preschool. My mom was a coach. Uh, she did gymnastics growing up. So that's what initially got me interested. Eventually made my way up through and then did the competitive club team. And once I got to high school, it was nice because you could still come back here, practice your skills with you know the family here that you had with the club. I was never afforded the opportunity to take a structured gymnastics, so um, I pretty much self-taught myself, starting you know, with big handsprings and then swinging on bars. And I just thought it was really neat to be able to flip yourself around like that. I, I've loved the sport since the first cartwheel I've done. Working in the open gyms, there were other real trained gymnasts, and they would help us out. And uh, from there, it just progressed. We've been with the program for almost 10 years now. It wasn't exactly something that we were looking for as far as our girls competing, uh, but when we were asked to join the team, we really felt like it was a really good fit. When you get into the private sector, they, you know, that's their business. We're here to let them have fun, teach them, and if they get really good, that's great. That's where I think our major difference is everybody gets the same chance to be successful. Definitely being on the other side, it's fun to experience when they get a new skill or learn something new. Not only their triumphs, but also when you know, they're not having a good day, having done the sport myself. Keep trying, because obviously gymnastics is very hard, and you don't get things right away. You have to keep doing it over and over again until you finally can get it. And it's frustrating, but it's worth it in the end. When there's a skill that they had been struggling on and then they hit it in a meet or they get over a fear, that's kind of cool to take part in. Being part of this program has been fantastic for my girls. They have gained a lot of confidence and ability and it's fun to see them cheer on their friends um, regardless of skill level. Whenever anyone gets a new skill, it's just really neat to see that all the girls kind of gather around and. Um, encourage one another in that way. And so for those reasons, um, and for um, the coaches and their encouragement with the girls, it's fun to be able to say to other people, hey, come check out this gym. It's a really great opportunity for you to get involved in gymnastics and not feel like you have to be at the gym all the time. So it's a good mix. If you have a child that is flipping around on your furniture at home, has an abundance of energy, come check out our preschool program. A lot of our kids start as little preschoolers and work their way up through our program and then end up on our team. They become successful high school gymnasts at their respective schools, Palatine and Friend, but uh, also schools out of our district, Buffalo Grove, Hersey, uh, Barrington. So come check us out and see if we can take care of some of that energy that your child has and save your furniture. Oh, <laughs> no.